Live. We are rolling live from uh, the house of uh, huge caterpillar eyebrows. Yeah, guys, it's funny. This whole background, this deep background that we put in our studio, it, it makes the <laughs> eyebrows look almost worse. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's it's just awesome. it's weird always watching yourself in the camera, just like teach and stuff. I don't know what it is. All right, Coach. But anyways, guys. Time is money. Yeah, hope let's you guys go. are doing well. Um, let's get into this. So what we're going to talk about today is, what are we talking about? Three ways to get your online clients to pay, stay, and refer. Shall we get into it? Let's do it. Chris, right. pull, up that, pull up that slideshow. Give me two seconds. Yes. Two, oh, one. Right on there. there we are. Okay, so I got the phone there too. All right, guys. So three ways to get your online clients to pay, stay, and refer you more. And some of you guys might be, currently running an online coaching business. Awesome. Fist bump for doing that. Maybe you guys are aspiring to do, to do that. Maybe you're stuck and don't know where to start. doesn't matter. This, this whole training is going to be for everybody because it's also a good reminder on little things that you need to brush up on and you never want to put on the back burner. And I'll tell you guys why, because we, we made this mistake as well too. Okay. So let's start with the main problem with this. Okay. Cause there's always a problem that we're always going to give you guys a solution to this. So the biggest problem I'm seeing with health and fitness coaches, um, is again, there's a lot of like, you know, marketers out there, a lot of business coaches that are, uh, you know, over promising and under delivering. They're saying, Oh, I'll get you to 10 K months. And then, you know, one to two months, three months, I'll get you X, Y, Z. I'll bid you, I'll build you a website. I'll build you a funnel. Man, I just um, see an ad today where I was on, do you want to make 25, 50, hundred K? Like, I was like <laughs> Whoa, man. Yeah. Whoa. Telling you guys just, that makes me cringe just hearing that. So just be careful, do your research. And yeah, that's all I can really say just from the bottom of my heart. But We're anyways, digital age, if whoever makes the biggest claim is going to win and get people's attention. Yeah. Guess, so so be bit, careful. You can't hear, I'll tell you this real quick. Trust is the new digital currency for everybody, for us, for you guys, for your clientele. So just remember, remember that trust is the new digital currency and transparency. is Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, guys. So what I was saying is a lot of health and fitness coaches lose sight on just like the very uh, basics when it comes to uh, 10x your customer experience and service in your guys' business. And the reason being is, right, because everyone's always out there just saying, oh, you need to grow. You need to grow. You need more clients. You need more leads. That's the big, big, like kind of shiny object um, elephant in the room. And it's like, I get it, right? I mean, we're guilty of this and I'll tell you in a minute, but you can't sit there and, and, and get so consumed with that because the problem is once you do have uh, clients, right, you have to take care of those clients. You have to serve them. You have to impact them. You have to take a general interest. You have to build a relationship. And more importantly, you have to get them results. You cannot sit there and just be like, okay, here's all the new clients. Boom, 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 boom. Let's just put them through like an automated system and treat them like crap. I'm sorry, guys. Like that's not going to work. That's going to give you a horrible reputation and, and number two, you're going to probably lose those clients. And, and again, they won't sit there and pay, stay and refer. So if you guys sit here and, and focus on the onboarding, if you focus on communication and, if you, and you, if you focus on results, that's going to lead you guys to more clients. And it's literally going to do the marketing for yourself, right? To where you don't have to sit there and do all this crazy marketing, all this cold outreach. You don't have to run ads, all that. So if you keep your finger on the pulse, right, of just good onboarding, good communication and good results, those three things will really have you stay in the game more importantly. And that will help you actually grow your business because then you'll have a flood of clientele. You'll have a good cash flow, And that means you can put that back into the business. You can buy yourself leverage. You can remove yourself out of certain situations. And again, that gets you more traffic coming to you towards that. You can help and serve more people. Exactly. All right. Good yeah. stuff. Okay. So before we jump into the three ways, right, to get your online clients to pay, stay, and refer, we go in depth on that. Um, if you want the worksheet, and then also we're giving a cool bonus away, it's um, eight ways to communicate with your online clients. Yeah. It's super helpful. Just comment below uh, PDF, and we'll get you the PDF for that. Okay. All right. Like we like to say in our accelerator program, everybody hold out their hands, roll up their sleeves. Let's get our hands dirty. All right. <clears throat> Let's get to work. Okay. So right here, the pay, stay, and refer formula, okay? So the first way, oops, the first way you want to get your clients to pay, stay, and refer is, again, focus on this, the onboarding process. It is so important to focus on the onboarding process, right? Because that is your chance right there. Because whenever somebody makes a purchase, right, 
what goes through their head is called, it's called buyer's remorse, right? You know, did, uh, because a lot of people buy off emotion and then after the logic kind of like, you know, kicks in, right. And then that logic kicks in, they're just like, Hmm, did I make that right decision with like this health and fitness coach? Like, is the program really, really like going to help me? Like, do I trust myself going through the program? Is the offer really like solid, right? Is the value there? All these things start going through your head, right? No matter when you make a, a purchase, especially when you make a big purchase. Okay. So the way you alleviate that, right, is you really focus on the onboarding process. In our accelerator program, we have this thing called the, the new client process, where we dive super deep into five key ways to really, really, you know, hone in on that onboarding process. And it's, it's gold, okay? But for right now, just focus on your onboarding process. Make sure you have your PDFs, your agreement forms. Make sure they know where to get the program. Make sure they know where to get help. Make sure they, they know how to get their game plan or if like their health and fitness, uh, you know, training nutrition program, whatever it is that you, you deliver. Just make sure that delivery process and the onboarding process is really, really smooth to where there's no confusion. It's very easy. Okay? And really, really quick, I just want to add to that. Make sure that they feel a part of your guys' community right away. And that's so key because it's it's going to buy the trust even more and the camaraderie. And again, if you guys don't know what that really kind of looks like, it's like real quick, the three Bs to a belonging community. You guys are trying to create a belonging community here, which is you want them to feel like they belong. You want them to feel like they believe in themselves and believe in your program. And then you want them to actually become, right? Become like, you know, whatever it is that they're aspiring to be, you know, maybe that's 10 pounds, maybe that's more confidence, less stress, maybe that's more energy. So you want them to understand that it is possible to become, you know, that version of themselves. Yeah. Three of these is gold. Okay. Let's move on to the second way that you can get your online client to pay, stay and refer, uh, refer more. So the second way is it just comes down to good old communication, right? I know, I know my bad. I know you're probably like, dude, why did you do that? I just really quick. And we'll be back to that video. I just want you to join our free Facebook group community for health and fitness coaches looking to get more online clients. So just click the link below in the description box, join it absolutely free. We got some cool stuff in there. A lot of videos we do live trainings every couple of months on there. And we got some cool freebies on there. So just make sure to click the link below, join our free Facebook group for health and fitness coaches that want to level up and get more online clients to create more income, impact, influence, independence. Back to the video. You know, when you're uh, arguing with like your significant other or you guys fight about something, right? Usually it's, uh, it's about something stupid, right? Or when you argue with me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's usually something dumb, right? It's always a communication issue, right? So the same exact thing with your online clients, right? Make sure that the communication, uh, you know, boundaries in the onboarding process is super clear, right? Because they're not going to know. And you're the coach, you're the leader, right? It's your business. It's your systems. It's your process. So the communication needs to be super clear with them and transparent. So they understand how to communicate with you, how to get help, how to get support, the whole shebang on there. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys the eight ways after this. And if you guys want that PDF on the eight ways to communicate with your online clients, again, comment below PDF and we'll get you that. Okay. All right. The third way to get your clients, online clients to pay state and refer is, man, I know you guys are probably like, duh, coach Chris, duh, but you, you, uh, you'd be surprised, you know, um, how many online health and fitness coaches don't give a shit, number one. And number two, you know, it's just uh, once they get their, their clients in the door and they pay, they'll just throw out a, a very kind of cookie cutter program, yeah. right? It, oh, you know, let's get 100 uh, clients in the, in, the, um, in the door and then we'll just kind of hope and pray that this uh, cookie cutter program will work for those that have maybe good genetics or that can adhere to it. But as you guys know, not everybody can be given the same exact cookie cutter program. Okay. So you got to really get your clients results, right? I mean, if you don't get your clients results, you, you guys know whether you're in-person uh, coach or online coach that they're not going to stay. They're, they're not going to pay you more. Right. And they're not going to refer you. Right. It's just flat out. Right. It's very kind of like dumbed down. Right. And you guys are probably like, duh, you know, but it's the truth. And it's just, sometimes we need to be reminded more instead of taught new things. Okay. And that's why we're a, a lot of these three things. You guys are probably like, Hmm, I do these things or like, you know, these aren't anything like special or new or X's and O's or stuff like that. But again, sometimes you need to be reminded more instead of taught new cool things. Yeah. And really quick, just to add to the results part, it's like, if you're not getting people results, I mean, then how are you going to showcase that in your marketing? And you, you will never be able to sit there and share case studies and testimonials to the masses once you're at that point. So 
that's where you have to really uh, ask that question. Like, am I, am I really doing the best I can as a coach? Am I getting my clients results like I should be? Because if you are, you're going to understand the game of marketing going forward. Exactly. And the results too, guys, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we deal with these questions too in the accelerator program a lot, you know, like, do I have to get this massive like transformational um, type of thing mm-hmm. where it's like they lose 50 pounds or, you know, like have a huge transformation, right. Physically, you don't need to, you don't have to have that all the time. Yeah. Obviously those are great. And that's what we're kind of aiming for, like in like three to six months or even a year, right. You got to be patient with it, but you could also get your clients really quick results, right. To where it's like uh, an increase in confidence, increase in motivation. It's a habit change, right. Anything that gets them to feel a lot better or something like that, man, that is a win right there. And that is a result. And that's going to lead to them pay, staying and referring. Okay. So that's the three ways guys right here is basically focus on your onboarding process, focus on the communication with your clients and get them results. You know, again, it's not sexy. It's not new, but sometimes you need to be reminded more instead of taught new things. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's move into this bonus section right here. So again, if you want this, all you have to do is comment PDF below and we'll hook you up with this. Right. And super helpful. I'm not going to go like into a lot of depth with this, but trust me, this is a checklist you want to go through with your online client in, in your systems, your process and your accountability system. Be like, hmm, am I doing this right? Like, am I am I in a close proximity to where I can meet up with people? Um, is it clear how they can email me? Do I mail them something like a gift or something like that? Um, do we do phone calls? Is am I taking full advantage of like video? Because there's a ton of ways you can do video these days. Right. So you don't have to hide behind a keyboard. So there's tons of video. You can do audio these days, right? There's WhatsApp, there's Voxer. Um, I taking advantage of all the social groups, Facebook group, uh, you know, there's a WhatsApp group, there's um, there's Slack groups. There's so many different groups on there, right? And then am I getting my clients like gifts on the onboarding process or anything like that? Or am I rewarding them when they hit milestones, right? So these are all eight ways you can really communicate with your clients. And again, what this is going to lead to is it's going to lead them to pay, stay, and refer. Anything you want to hit on this? That's it. I mean, just even the phone part could be just text messaging, right? But again, that's that's all determined on what your guys' boundaries are, like in terms of like accessibility in your coaching program. So we'll leave that for another time. Yeah. So if you want this, comment below PDF and we'll hook you up with it. All right, team. So basically you guys know us. We're very transparent, transparent guys, right? So the only thing that we're asking after this is number one, that you take action. Okay. So take action. Number two, if you want the PDF below, comment PDF. And the third thing, if you feel like you need more help, then let's do a, a 10 minute brainstorm call. No, nah, let's go 15. 15? Okay. 10 minutes is too quick. All right, Coach here. <laughs> Since he does, he does them, right? Uh, let's do a 10 minute brainstorm call and just see where you're at, where the possibilities are. See if you might be a good fit for like our accelerator program or our OFC program, right? And have you ready to, to come out locked and loaded and, and ready, you know, like with your program and serve people, make more income, impact, influence, and independence in your online coaching business, right? So again, no obligations. We're not going to sell you anything. Leave your credit cards at home, right? We're cool guys. We'll have a good conversation. And I promise you'll get some sort of value out of this call. So if you're interested in that, you need more help, right? Then just comment the word below. Uh, call. Call. Yep. Okay. Comment the word below call works. and we'll get you some more details on how we can set up a call though. But other than that, though, hopefully this was super helpful for you guys. Again, um, three ways to get your clients to pay, stay and refer, right? It's the onboarding process. It's uh, the communication process and it's getting them results. Okay. So don't ever lose sight of those. Keep your finger on the pulse with that. And I promise you'll be able to grow your business uh, to places that you never even thought were possible. And stay away from all those marketers making guarantees. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Have a great weekend.